Okay. I just want to go on record. We are all positive. We are all positive with a positive attitude, a positive spirituality, a positive sexuality, positive health. Good afternoon. I am Tracy Johnson from Cleveland, Ohio. I'm here to speak with you about housing on a national level. Housing affects everyone all across the board. Housing transportation from state to state, country to country. But right now, we are here in Kansas City and focus on Kansas housing and transportation issues. Let me give you a little background his history. Um, I just want to take a few minutes. In 1993, the National AIDS Housing Coalition was founded. A coalition of national community-based organizations, individuals providing strong advocacy, representatives, thousands of communities, uh, community leaders, and social and health providers. Housing. We have shown and known cases that housing have improved health. Housing have improved mental Ill illness. Because if you don't have housing and you're homeless, then you're in a mental state of mind. Right. Without right. housing, right. we would not be able to take our medicine. Right. Without housing, we're sleeping from pillow to post. Oh, yeah. We're going to be yeah. ill constantly, day in and day out. Oh, yeah. Housing is an important issue to us. Yeah. Yeah. We need housing. Oh, yeah. We're not asking for a decrease or a budget cut. We're asking for an increase mm -hmm. in funding for our housing. Yeah. This affects you, young adults, older, all in between, black, white, no matter the race. We have several people here in Kansas City today. One you just heard speak, you will hear two others speak um, in a couple of minutes. I just want to share a story with you. Um, it's a success story. There was a young man, about 15 years old, who was diagnosed with HIV. Not only was he diagnosed with HIV, but he was also homeless. Sleeping in parks, eating out of trash cans, sleeping to get a place to stay, selling his body to get a place to stay at night. But thanks to NAHCH, um, or NAHC, he was able to maintain safe housing. His mental was in his right state of mind. Not only was he able to maintain well-being, but that person is here today. Here it is six right. years later, right. that person is here with us today. All right. Not only is that person is here, but that person is me. And I want you to know, right. because of housing and the finding of housing, I was able to go back to school and get my high school diploma and medical system certification. Okay. All right. All right. And this happened to me. For 22 years old, it can happen to anybody. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Once again, wake up and listen. Let's come aboard Kansas City. Wake up. Wake up. America, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. No house. No house. No house. No house. Good afternoon, Kansas City. Good afternoon. No money, no transportation. I can't come because I don't have any gas in my car. I have no money for a bus pass. I didn't know that I qualified for any of these services. My name is Alex Alexander. I'm an HIV educator at Truman Medical Center. These are some of the things that patients tell me all the time. And I wanted to share that with you because the battling of the transportation issue is keeping them from accessing the medical care that they need. Right. That leads to other things. So if you can't get there for your doctor's appointment, your mental health appointment, then you come up with all these other diseases and things, and so it wipes everybody out. So, Kansas City, I challenge you today to help with transportation. The mayor, Sly James, All right. new mayor, I want you to do something about transportation for HIV and AIDS patients in Kansas City, Missouri. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta do it now. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah. 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 It is now. We dance. It we love. It is now. Much. We dance. We love. It is now. All right. My name is Angie Keys. I'm from Kansas City. And I'm here today in the public scene. We need house. Yes. 
I've been positive in my community for the past 17 years. Some of my friends know, and some of them they don't. For the ones that don't, today they will. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, let's all start moving around on the other side of the family.